Hey folks, this is Tico here, to, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, we begin today on several notes, actually. We've got Michael all the way across the world, who is bringing us back our AI core. I used the other one to fix, um, uh, Mika's brain. So Mika now has a neurostimulator and can cook a little more quickly. That's literally the entire reason that I used an AI core to put a neurostimulator into Mika's brain, is so that Mika could cook faster. That's oddly depressing. But in any case, it doesn't matter. Um, so we had that Psychic Emanator, right, that got brought back a while ago? I lost it because it actually got installed, which is sort of funny. So we will probably want to put that over here somewhere. Um, definitely someplace where it gets to the whole hospital. Maybe here, I guess? Sure? Yeah, sure. Let's just put that right there. Anyway, so then we'll have some nice emanations. Um, other things that I want to do. We're just about done with our ship. Yeah, we're still really low on um, the two different types of components, so we do actually need to deal with that. We're actually really low on gold, too. Um, I never mind this gold and silver up here. Let's go ahead and let's just take care of it. I guess I'll leave the other silver. I don't really want to take our wealth you know, too far out of control. What does that actually look like? It's actually not bad. Okay. Um, something else we're going to have to think about in the near future is I'm going to need to think about um, what we're going to do defense-wise once I turn on our spaceship and everything kind of goes to hell. There's kind of two things I could do. I could build our entrance here into just a gigantic, I don't know, tunnel of doom, something like that. I could make it way wider. I could fit in a bunch more, you know, lasers and cannons and stuff like that. I could actually build a second area. I could actually, you know, cook up just a bunch of food and then take all this stuff out and then go ahead and build a second area here. Um... Those are actually several options. We'll have to see. Um, another thing that I do want to do is I want to stop growing these temporarily. I think I'm going to turn a whole bunch of food into um, packaged survival meals just so we have them around. So that when, I don't know, when the shit hits the fan, at least we've got lots of food. So maybe I'll do that. It's just about done. So, um, done growing. So I think I'll just go ahead and I'll just stop the zone from being replanted. Oh, this is the whole zone. Oh. Well, maybe I won't bother then. All right, never mind, scratch that. We'll just kind of deal with things as they come. Anything else I want to deal with right away? Our plutonium is coming along nicely. We've got some visitors coming. Pope is back up after face tanking a whole bunch of bugs. Um, I think that he did well, I guess. I'm just gonna say that because I don't actually know if that's true. I don't know if there's really a good way to face tank, but if there was, he took a great stab at it, so well done. Oh yeah, we've got these cool spirit wolves. Check these out. Ah, oh, these are so exciting. Yes, teach them. Yes, obedience, three out of three. Awesome. I'm very happy about that. You know, actually, let's go Let's go hunt some wildlife. What do we have? We have a bunch of caribou. Let's go kill all the caribou. Caribou are delicious, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about caribou. I don't think I've ever even seen a caribou. Possibly inside of a zoo? Maybe? In fact, my entire mental image of caribou looks like the RimWorld sprite. So, yeah. All right, so you guys, what should we do with you? Um, anything we want to buy, sell? Not really. No, not at all, but thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Oh, we do have some spider silk. So this is pretty cool. This is coming out of one of our nifty animals. I have no idea where you are in here. Here, silk spider. So you're making spider silk. Unfortunately, I'm not super impressed with spider silk. So if we take a look at its stats, obviously its defensive stats are terrible. Um, the cold and heat is 43 and 61, versus muffalo wool at 54 and 21. So it'd be good for hot weather, but not... It's not relevant to me. So, in any case, I actually don't want it over here. Someone move it out of the way, because I want it over here so I can sell it. Hopefully it's valuable. We'll find out, I don't know, when someone shows up that wants to buy it. So, I think otherwise we're doing pretty good. I'm just leaving the bugs outside. Actually, maybe I should bring them in and chop them up. Oh yeah, Mega Badger. Actually, I think I will bring the bug corpses in and chop them up and turn them into chem fuel. That's not, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll do that. Wait, we have all these dead animals laying around that I don't know why. Who killed this squirrel? Nephia, oh, this is the one that Nephia like stabbed to death. That's right. That was a long time ago, I remember that. Those were good days. So, Michael is still, you know, a long ways away, obviously, 10 days to walk back. We do have some pods ready, so we can go ahead and send any support. I mean, he's got artillery support, kind of no matter what, but, you know, it's good to be able to send, um, you know, just send some reinforcements or doctors or anything like that. I think by himself, I don't think that's going to be a problem, but it's just good to have options, I think. So, anyway. 
See, look, these are white caribou. They look just like this, and they've got these weird little horns to me. And they don't have any legs, is also how I view caribou, so... I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. How are our eyes going? 36%. Well... Alright, that's not as good as I'd like. And it does look like we're gonna get a full crop of hay grass. Good, that's gonna make life a lot easier for us in the winter. So... Yeah. Alright, well, carry on. Donnie started a social fight with Snaz. Look at this! Check it out. Insulted times eight, and Donnie is still, like, being positive. So anyway, what was the final straw? Um, you insulted Donnie's honesty. Okay, that I can kind of see. Ooh, that was hard to see. Um, an ag trader and a caravan. Okay. Anyway, whenever you guys want to stop, you know, beating on each other. Oh, caribou revenge. Well, that's okay. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. All right, did you morons knock any body parts off? No, I take that back. Snaz, did you lose any body parts from being an idiot? No, it looks like you didn't. Donnie, can you come rest, please? I know you want to watch the sunset, but unfortunately, that's not a thing that's going to happen. Um, when you're done, Waffle, can you come clean, or is someone else already doing it? Well, cannot prioritize. We'll never clean. All right. I can't right-click on this blood, so I assume that someone else is going to come get it. All right. All right. Well, that was mildly annoying. You're going to have to come take care of these guys now. Okay, Noriko, you've had enough sleep. Let's go do some trading. So first off, we've got these guys out here. Let's come trade with Kenneth. And see if they have anything, you know, that we want to chat about. I moved one of my excess moisture pumps over here. It's never really going to do anything useful, but maybe it'll run long enough that it'll dry some of this area out. It, it, it won't, but maybe. One never knows. You know, stranger things have happened. A threat detected via land in 7.2 days. And Michael is 9.6 days out. All right. Okay. That's fine, we can be ready for that, no problem. That's plenty of lead time. Okay, so... Okay, not much I feel like doing with these guys. Um, we're gonna sell them these random berries and some coffee, and just call that good enough. There's really not a lot I want to do about it. Um, probably the quest is not gonna be anything useful, but let's talk to them anyway. Just to see if there's anything interesting. Um, a refugee... Oh, by the way, someone asked about this. So, with the escaped prisoners, um, that has a chance to give you um, back one of your colonists, but it's a really low chance. I don't think I've ever actually seen one. So, alas. Expo. Sure. And our expo is... Gaming. Well, maybe. Okay. And once you can call the agricultural trader, we're gonna have nothing to say to them. But once again, you know, we might as well, you know, be friendly and say hi. Hello. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing here that I'm interested in. All right. Oh, well. We tried. Good enough. Actually, while we're killing some time, as I was just about to kind of let it fade to waiting, let's finish up our second interior wall set. Let's get this whole area double-walled. I've just had so many problems with sappers that I just, I don't know, I don't want to deal with them. I just don't. Here, we've got a lot of slate. Let's make things out of slate for a while. I don't think I double-walled in at all last time, but we were a lot more OP in our last colony. These weapons and stuff are really cool, but they don't really hit as hard as I'd prefer. Let's do that first, and then we'll kind of move on from there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yep, go ahead and go from there. Actually, we can just take this down right away. There's no reason to leave it up. All right. You know... After 20 or 30 seconds of consideration, let's actually go ahead and let's build another fab bench. Yeah, these are expensive. Um, actually, can I put it there without blocking the research console? I don't care about that console because we don't need it anymore. Just because it'll it'll just be helpful. What were you fighting? You were fighting deer and you don't have a tail. I'm sorry about that. So, I don't know. That'll let us build lots of other more interesting things. That'll let us build, you know, I don't know, weapons and stuff like that. More defenses. We are going to need a lot of advanced components. So we'll just we'll just go ahead and do that. Our steel and plasteel are actually looking pretty good. And you guys have done well up here too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Um, I could haul a little more steel slag down. And by I, I mean the animals could. I don't really need steel as badly, but you can never have too much steel. That's what I always say. And let's see here. We're actually looking a little low on lumber too. Um... Let's get some flagged up here. Chop wood. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and do that. 
It looks like, actually, it looks like all this is gonna die. We'd better, we'd better harvest this. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I just don't want it to die, like, overnight. Because that would be really sad. Because it's most of a full harvest, and that will keep the herbivores going pretty well this winter. Speaking of things going well, oh, see, crap. What did I just say? What did I just say? Who do I need up? Noriko. Oh, I... Oh, no. All the hay grass. Ah. All right. I have never tested the Q depth, and I had no idea you could fit this much stuff in. Oh man, what a waste. It's not really that big of a deal, but it is frustrating, because... I don't know. Vegetables are just like what we're always short on, and all of our nice kibble stuff just went away. Well, alright, we got some out of it, so... I guess that's good enough. Let's actually, let's, let's make some of the zones smaller, and let's go ahead and let's plant some more barley or something. So let's shrink this zone. Let's use the areas that have newly planted plants in it. Yes, although now it's really hard to see. There we go. Ta-da! And I do need to check our reactor in the morning, too. I want to see kind of how things are going. Actually, Donnie, are you smart enough to use this? No. A surprising number of people are not smart enough to actually use this thing. Oh, yeah, how are our eyes? Um, they're going okay. Pope, how are you doing? Getting better. Okay, Teddy, I need you to get up. Come manage this reactor for me. I just need to see how our fuel is going. If we need to make some more rods, this is the time I'd like to do it. Yeah, we well, we need one, two, three, four, probably at least four more at the moment. I think that'll be okay. Do we have any pellets around? No, not really. Well, all right. Okay, I think 14 will be enough. So go ahead and do that. Do we have enough uranium for that? Yes. Oh, we have lots of uranium. Okay, good. Okay. A grizzly bear is hunting Anne for food. Well, that's not good. We're obviously not going to allow that. So Becca can stand there and kind of get ready for this. And is anybody else kind of nearby that feels like coming out and helping kill a grizzly bear? Donnie? Jeff is just always in a bad mood. Well, it's because of the fibrous mechanites at the moment. But even so. Moken, why don't you come help, please? Um, Mika and Naf, why don't you come help as well? Yep. No problem. We'll come kill this. We'll hunt. We'll set all of you guys to draft and hunt. Because it's funny. It's really funny. It's like, I'm gonna go kill that whatever you are. Are you my, um, my radyak? Yep. I'm gonna go kill that radyak. Oh no, I got a shot. Run away. Like, oh man, I really wish I had some radyak. And then fall over. That cannon man. That's a hell of a thing. I guess I don't need you guys to do this. Becca, can, you're gonna finish it off. Thank you. Alright. How much time do we have? Six days. Um, I'm wondering... If I should work on any defenses before then or not. I'm actually not sure. Oh yeah, let's get these cues set up. Um, one out of six and six out of twenty. Let's get them both set up for the same thing. Um... Okay, that took longer than it should have. Sorry about that. Okay. So... Oh, great. We're missing yet- Yeah, okay, that- that actually did end up indoors. That's fine. Um, clear drop point. Yep. There was one up here, obviously, so- and then we'll place a new one right here. Did that actually place it? This is really kind of a confusing way to set these up, I'm not gonna lie. I wish we had a better visual way to do this. So, while we're working on this stuff, like I said, do we want to put any more guns in? I'd love to put in another steel marauder, but man, oh, do those things use a lot of power. Let's build some more capacitors. We don't have enough components at this exact moment in time, but we will soon. We are working on several. And actually, this can be moved back over... Um, hmm. You know, we're done with this. Oh, there's a research bench in here, too. That's kind of funny. And let's uninstall this. No space for a research bench. Really? 
Huh, that's interesting. I don't know why. It says there's no storage space for that. Well, you know what? We can just take it apart. That's okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to move this... Let's move the reactor console over here. Oh, no, wait. Stop. Oh, cancel. Cancel. There's a reason that's over there and I almost forgot. Okay, um, let's move... I'm just trying to figure out a way to get some of these things in better spots. Let's put the advanced bionics over here. And then I can put, um, these workbenches so they reach everything. Because this workbench is currently not reaching all the way over here. Okay, so. Great. Right there. Crap. Right. That should work well. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need the power. Because I want to be able to keep all of our weapons working. I mean, as fun as it would be to have more than one Marauder, I really don't think that we can use the power. That thing uses so much power. It's it's hilarious, quite frankly, how much electricity it uses, but we won't be able to deal with it. So, alas. Um, Convergence, that's just your rejection, I'm assuming. Pope, man, you're still... Like, wow. I mean, I knew you took some serious hits, but... Yeesh. Okay, so now what do we got going on in here? Why is this all full of stuff? Move these leathers out of the way, please. These don't belong in here and you know it. Get them out of here. Yep, go ahead and do that. Anything else I should really be working on at the moment? I don't think so. I don't need another area denial system. I mean, I guess I can make another uranium slug turret. What do you cost? 60 uranium, though. Well... Maybe... I don't know. Now, if I do build this any wider, I'm going to have to come up with something different to do with my, um... with my Tesla coils, because then they won't reach all the way side to side. Or, I have to make more Tesla coils and count on them exclusively for EMP duties. You've been... what? Well, that didn't take long. Well, I'm sorry, Susie. You know what we'll do? We'll come kill this thing. I mean, I know it said that you were, like, fragile, but even so... Oh, I probably- I think I thought I had you set to indoors, and I didn't. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. Destroy. Don't kill our other muffalos, thank you. Man, that's sad. Well... Oh well. These things happen. Oh, a Manhunter pack. Ancient spirit wolves. Hey, we know spirit wolves. Oh, that's, uh... That's rather a lot of spirit wolves. Okay. Um, animals, come on inside then. Where I thought I had you all last time, but then it turned out that I didn't, and then you died. Oh, I'm still kind of sad about that. Oh, I never set this up correctly. Yes. Actually, I need to fix some things. You know, I don't actually care when you guys work during the day. You guys are getting a lot done, and I don't really care. What I do care is that you get proper recreation. That is something I'm concerned about. And that's actually not a joke. I'm serious about that. Because I want you guys to be happy. Cat. Oh god, Cat's gonna die from attacking a boulder mite. And then getting attacked by... Oh my god, Cat really is gonna die. Um. Crap. Can we get over and deal with this in time? Mocha and Mika. Can you get over here to try to rescue Cat? And then beat a fast retreat? Spirit wolves are really, really, really fast. Ah, crap. No, you've screwed this up. I don't think that we can save Cat. Boy, I'm really sorry about that. But I don't think there's anything I can do. I mean, we'll swing past here. Cat, you idiot. And Cat's gonna bleed out in three hours. So it would be great if Cat would fall down right now, because then I could save Cat. But otherwise, I can't. Cat, damn it. Just do anything else. Any other spot where, than other where you are right now. Ah, uh, Not Greg. Greg goes in this area. Oh, well, you decided to help. I guess that's nice. Okay, cat? Um, yeah, resting. Well, you've gone the wrong way to rest. Well, actually, maybe... Maybe having two humans outside... will result in enough kiting that I can get them past our defenses. So if I can get them over there, then we've got things more or less nailed down. No, of course you're going to go after the store, because of course you are. Animal needs rescue, yeah. I don't think I can save Cat. 
I'm gonna try. But I don't see an obvious way to make that happen. Okay, well if the spirit wolves all follow us over this way, maybe we can run outside and save Cat? It's not looking good. The spirit wolves are not following us at all. Why are you not following us? Are we too far away? Yeah, medical emergency, yeah. It's just the cat picked an incredibly bad time. Like, an almost unbelievably bad time to pick a fight with an animal that it can't beat. Yeah, I can't even get these things to follow me. How many res serums do I have? Three? I guess I, guess I could res cat. Cat's probably going to get stirred on ice, though, until I make sure I don't need them. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get enough of them around the corner before Cat bleeds out in 0.9 hours. And actually, uh oh I may have screwed this up. I may have screwed this up quite badly. In lots of different ways. Damn it, cat. Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe everything's okay. Ooh, get out of the way, get out of the way. Get out of the way of all the guns. Okay, good. I was hoping it'd be the lasers. Yeah, cat died. Man. Well, I really tried. I honestly don't know what I could have done, though, unfortunately. Well, it's cold out. We'll throw Cat in the freezer. And I'll decide what to do later. Moken, what are you doing, man? Shouldn't you be going inside? Oh, you're downed! Whoops, I knew that. And so is your weapon out here. A rather expensive weapon. I'm not sure that I'm the biggest fan of it, but... It does need to be um, hauled back inside. I'm going to say, believe me, Spirit Wolves, you do not want to be over here. It's sad that they make sad dog noises, but it's not my fault. Come on, hurry up. Did you really just ride Thor over there to pick up the spin fuser? Alright. Whatever. And let's see how badly Moken got beat up. I actually didn't even notice that. Yeah, hay grass is dying, blah, blah, blah. I thought I'd cut all that. I guess I harvested it all, didn't it? And... I really wish you would stop beating on my doors. Okay, guys. Stop riding out there just to dismount. It's very annoying. Come on, hurry up. Okay, Moken, how bad are you? Um, not good, that's for sure. I didn't see. Did you lose anything? No, you're okay. Okay, well, we'll just wait these guys out for a little bit. This guy's going to get down, and there's nothing I'm going to be able to do, because he's going to get just instantly killed. Yep, he died. Nothing I could have done about that. That's his fault. Mort, I forgot to put you back in the wrong zone. There, thank you. Just just let them burn. I don't, I don't really care. So I guess we are going to fight them here. We'll just watch this from this, like, thousand-foot view. This is actually kind of relaxing. Actually, what are you guys doing out here, anyway? Is it because you guys are going to, like, the dismount spots? Is that what's causing all this trouble? That you're making our lasers do all this work? Actually, we're, we're a little short on firepower for this. Aren't we? Not terrifyingly so, but a little. Enough that I'm not happy about it. Enough that Waffle's getting beaten up. Well, no, but... Sort of. Come on, lasers. Solve the problem. Colonies Rescue, is that Waffle? Oh, crap. Well, it's a good thing that Jeff's here. That's actually why Jeff is here. Yeah, melee attack, whatever. Oh, no! Oh, no! Mort's gone! Don't do this when you're at this kind of a spot. Uh, this is not going quite how I envisioned this whole thing happening. Um, Jeff is down now, too. Um, hmm.
Now, this is not really how I expected this to go at all. Can you get over there and rescue Waffle? Oh god, the daggers are on fire. Oh no. Um, can you rescue the daggers? Can you put the fire out on the daggers? Well, that didn't go quite how I'd hoped. But, okay. We've got one loose spirit wolf out here. Um, looks like you're leaving the map. Well, that was... Not what I'd hoped. I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that went a little weirder than I expected. So... Great. Well, please put out all the fires. Is someone rescuing Arian Waffle? Why did you guys decide to stop rescuing? Rescue! And Jeff. I'm Jeff. I'm not Arian Waffle. Okay, you're actually... You're okay. And you're okay. Teddy, why don't you come do some tending, huh? And Ari, you just got a bruise. And Moody, why don't you rest? And then I'll have Teddy come tend to all of you. So... You're tending to Jeff, and then tend to Waffle, and then tend to Moody. We just got some bruises, but even so. Oh, this one did get noticed. Okay, well, that's less than... Oh, you uh, actually managed to kill it all on your own. Well done. Let's extend the home zone out here, because I'm tired of listening to that. Come on, guys, go ahead and get all that fire taken care of. So it's just Aerie now, and Aerie just had some bruises, right? Something like that? Yeah, just, just one bruise. Bruise from an assault rifle? Oh, you must have taken some friendly fires. I gotcha. Man, I wish... Can I tame you? How hard are you to tame? 95%. Well, that's too bad. Let's hope you at least yield some good leather or something. Ooh, some more animals. Um, okay. Let's come give them a talk to and see if you have anything that I'd like to buy. I'm hauling a couple of the spirit wolves in. I don't know if they're actually going to yield anything useful. Alright, anything interesting to buy here? A sky eel. It's a weird space-born creature that inhabits the asteroids of a system's asteroid belt. They're usually not found on the surface unless they're somehow brought to it. The body of a sky eel is surprisingly light and they have no problems moving in a terrestrial atmosphere. They require very little sustenance and can be trained as simple if somewhat affectionate pets. Huh. After merely seconds of contemplation, I'm buying both Sky Eels. Because obviously I am. Let's grab some names here quick. Alright, welcome to the team. And what do I want where do I want you guys? I want you guys indoors, because otherwise you will just get killed. So let's leave you on indoors. What are our cats listed at? Or our cats are on base. So that's probably what I should have had you on. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. All right, let's get some of this stuff out of here. We have way too much stuff. What to do with like 20 insect meat? I'm actually not sure. Let's cut some of these up. Mika, where are you at? You're sleeping. Why don't you come chop up a spear wolf and let me see what it like yields in terms. Oh, you're going to make kibble instead. Well, okay. I guess that's okay. I was really hoping you'd do some butchering. Oh, the eye is done. Hey, cool. Good, we can get that put in Zar here um, very shortly. Okay, here we go. And you yield... Oh, wolf skin. Really? Well... Alright. Whatever. It's yet more meat I don't need. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no storage space. No kidding. You know what? Here, I tell you what. Let's make our kitchen a little bigger. It's not much, but it'll be something. 4.2 days, yep. These things take a really long time to finish recharging these days. I mean, I realize I've got, what, eight of them? But even so, I'm a little worried about that. Cargo pods. I'm not worried that we have um, a good way to take care of a sustained engagement, quite frankly. Yeah, Hagaras has died, blah blah blah. Hagaras has died several times. Ah, good, the fuel rods are done. Um, let's go ahead and let's take care of that sooner rather than later. Whose boredom will also haul? 
and by bored I mean standing too close. Good news, Mort, since you're incapable of caring, you get to come move reactor rods around. That's right. Lucky you. Everyone loves moving a reactor rod around. Okay, let's wait till you're all set here. Let's go ahead and let's scram this, and we're going to pull out... We've got four rods I can put in, so they're kind of going in these random positions. And then this, over here... Let me just move these around left to right, I suppose. Um, we're going to remove all four of the empty rods. Okay, Mort, come back. It's still shutting down. Oh, our plutonium's done! I didn't even notice that. Well, hot damn. Reactor is still active. Yes, yes, yes. Removing fuel rods. Perfect. Yep, and just go ahead and put them into... Oh, you can put them right into... Yeah, sure. Plunk them right on in there. Um, I wish that you hadn't done that, because now you're irradiating yourself rather rapidly from the nuclear waste. Maybe... Can I have you haul this? Why can I not set you to haul the nuclear waste? If I set it to haul urgently, maybe you'll stop and do that. Yeah, put it out there so you stop doing that to yourself. Okay, last one's out. Okay, and then these. These are all my new rods, correct? Not yet. Stay on target. Don't store this one, remove this one. Hey, wait, come back. Come back. Move that rod. Stay in here. Don't go outside. Okay, now is this set up correctly? I've got four open slots, and I've got four unused rods. So if you could go ahead and get that loaded up, please. Don't go away. Yeah, okay, so I've got our power grid bridge somewhere. So if you would like a free internet cookie, you can go ahead and tell me where it is that I've got it crossed over here. Hold on just a second here. Let's get this reactor turned on safely and carefully. Just want to make sure that nothing bad is going to happen. Ye sure, something like that. Okay. And let's go ahead then and let's clear your restrictions or clear your assignments. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Ready? There you go. So the one place it looks like it bridged is right here. But this is actually a power switch that is turned on. Fuck me. Okay, never mind. No internet cookies, because I thought that was turned off. So, alas. You started a social fight. Why? Why are you guys... What? Why? Winter made fun of wagons, hopes, and dreams. Well, yeah. You're like we didn't just stab you. I'm gonna leave the boulder right up there to get eaten. Oh no, I forgot about cat! <gasps> That's so sad. Okay, let me get this fixed. Okay, butchering is disabled. Corpses are now allowed in there. Let's um, forbid all the spirit wolf corpses. We're going to unforbid this. Noriko, if you can go ahead and if you can haul cat. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Well, I did forget, obviously. And then cat should go, yep, into the sarcophagus. A polar bear is hunting 11 for food. Okay. Should be okay with just one. Do we have someone else handy? Mika. Come on up here. Let's kind of keep track of everybody here all at once. Go ahead and kill the polar bear. Or piss it off at least so it runs away. You can take care of it. I have faith in you. What I'm more concerned about is making sure that cat's corpse gets carried to the right place. Noriko, where are you at? And it looks like... It's just going to bleed out. Good enough. Someone will take care of it. Yep. Come on. Hunting Thor 2. Okay, hold on. Okay. Well, this is obviously not going to work. We're just going to have to keep come killing you. Drafted hunt. And the sarcophagus has been set up. Okay, can I forbid this so that you can't open it? No, I can't. So I don't remember exactly which thing that started with D, cat was. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to forbid all the Ds. Forever. And that way we can hopefully get both priorities done here at the same time. Thank you. Alright. 
That way we can keep Cat on ice without getting turned into food, which would be just horrifyingly tragic. Like, even by my standards, that'd be pretty bad. Okay, how much plutonium do we have? And also... Oh, that's depleted uranium. I got really excited for a second. 225, is that enough for another warhead? I hope. Nope. It's not. Okay. Well, we've got some in here being processed, so we will have some a little bit later. But on that disappointing note, let's go ahead and let's take a break. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.